Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We got Mousy starting the upper left hand corner, or Clocky. He prefers starting up the upper. I think this is Clocky. Starting up our left hand corner as the white Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Ghostifer starting as the black Protoss. So, talking about the Hasu League format right here, game one and two are best of ones. The winner's match, also best of one. This is the winner's match. So, Ghostifer beating Doodle, Mousy, I think, having a withdraw over someone in the previous match. So, this is the winner's match. Then it goes on to the loser's match, which I believe will also play as the final. I'm trying to figure out how this works with one player being out of it. Which will also potentially be the final match, effectively. Which is So basically, the loser. If, if you're in an elimination matchup, either in the loser's match or the final match, it is best of three. But everything else starts out best of one, and hopefully I can use that to guide me as far as the order of these replays moving forward. But a little bit of a rough start. And actually, I'm realizing I need to change. I've got Doodle versus Gosifer, and this is not Doodle. This is Mousy. Make sure I got the eyes right there. Correct it. Anyway, so rough start initially here. <laughs> this season of Hossu League. Gateway opener from both players. Probe Scout making its way upper left. I kind of like this format because there are fewer games and the games that are really meaningful are best of three in matter. So I appreciate that. Because it just felt like there were an immense amount of games in BSL Season 14. But at the same time, uh, without the grouping and spoiler and whatnot, it's hard to... Uh, and especially with all the withdrawals and having... I mean, I've just got sparse replays for the round of 16, so there might be... Like, you, I think previous season, there were an immense amount of games. This season, I think it'll be lucky if, uh, I wish I had a raw number to say right here. It's like, last season we had 90 games with a round of 16. This time I'm expecting 30. Quite a few, fewer games and fewer matches because of the walkovers. So it'll be a big acceleration into the round of eight is I guess what I'm saying. So it could be a shorter BSL Hasu League season. Two Zelts in production for Mousy. Going with the two gate opener, initially chasing down the probe. No movement to grab the assimilator behind this yet. Actually dropping additional pylon, so this might be the full five. Like a more aggressive zealot opener rather than the and the probe from Ghost of Her confirming it. Probe does get taken out. Which opens up some question marks here. Results fanning out. Mousy does have his probe alive in the bottom left-hand corner, and he's going to be sneaky, going for some proxy stuff. Second gateway added on for Gosifer. Wisely so, especially considering the amount of troops that potentially could be coming at him. But this could be an X-Factor right here. So three Zealots already on the front to go ahead and greet these three Zealots. See if Mousy dance, uh, dances or commits. Might end up with a disadvantage if he does commit. Never mind. Two Zealots on one on the northern edge. But he needs to be careful not to drive these Zealots back towards his proxy tech. In the bottom left-hand corner, nice little bit of dance there. The damage Zealot towards the rear. However, Ghostifer holds first. He's going to cannon rush. Are you kidding me? Forge in the main. More Zealots being produced. And cannons now. Starting to be produced from that bottom left-hand corner. I like it, Mousy. I haven't seen this in quite some time. This is something that Ghost of Her tends to be weak to. Two Zalts down. Three Zalts still standing. Three Zalts versus Dragoon and close. But he's going to walk him back into... That probe's got to stay alive. Into the photon cannons. So now Ghost of Her sees it. Zelt still trying to walk through, and let's see if Ghostfer is going to have range that will upgrade him, which might help. More Zelt's pouring in. And Mousy chasing down, so additional Zelt's been produced. Coming back to the protective ring here, more cannons dropping. Ghostfer not really responding with anything. He's not dropped the third gateway. He just wants to get it done, it looks like, with two gates. Hasn't pulled probes. 
Maybe he's resigned to his fate. Three, maybe didn't realize how many cannons were down here. Third cannon online. All the Dragoons gone. And a pylon in position to go ahead and start assailing the Nexus at the main. Probes now group attacking that Zealot, able to take it out. More Zealots moving forward, and this is going to be cannons plus Zealots. Feels like Gosefer is just resigning himself to this play. Probes getting some disruptive tech, maybe wanting to wait from range, for range and play the game from there. Two more cannons warping in. Probes coming to try to deal with these Zealots. More Zealots are making their way across. Now the Dragoon's at least able to force one cancellation. But this cannon's going to come online. Oh, never mind. Why? Oh, why was it canceled? It was canceled last second. Third gateway plopping down for Gosefer to try to defend. More Zealots marching their way in. Photon Cannon, I believe this range is the probes. A bunch of gateways, so two additional gateways plopping down for Gosefer. He knows if he just outproduces Mousy at this stage, because of the economic investment in cannons to the south, he will end up winning. Mousy mixing up Zealots versus Dragoons to try to get this cannon established. One cannon is going to come online. The Dragoons now moving to the south. And with the angle, able to at least take those cannons out. So Gosefer now has four gateways up and is defending. <laughs> Mousy dropping the attack, grabbing his nexus. And with another round of Dragoons, Gosefer will have good shot to go ahead and clean up everything here bottom left. And this is a huge investment from Mousy. But going to try to recover by having a superior probe count and dropping cannons on his front. And actually, Gosefer. So this is going to be an interesting play here. So yeah, working his way with range, going to go ahead and take out this pylon. And that will prevent additional cannons from playing there, but he's going to go for an attack on the front. And with Dragoon range, this could be trouble for Mousy. I like the play, though. So taking a little bit of damage. Isn't concerned with this overall. Does have four gates. So now Dragoons are just rallying to the front to go ahead and punch out Mousy. Wipe him out at this stage. Four cannons are there. And they're in a configuration where they can cage the Dragoons wholesale. Ghost of her holding up short is going to wait until he has more reinforcements. A cannon of his own on the front near the Nexus. Or a potential Nexus point. Potentially going to expand behind this. Moving up. Wiping out one cannon. The Zealot's mixing it up. Two cannons down, though. Only one Dragoon lost. Probe's pulling off the line. Another cannon down. The Zealots trying to march, but their reinforcement now. Eight Dragoons versus three Zealots and Probes and one cannon. That is not a winning combo for Mousy. Final cannon is burning and falls. Now it is only Zealots and Probes to defend for Mousy. Probes trying to mix it up with the Dragoons. That is not a fair fight, though. A little taser versus full-on photon cannon. Pylons being warped to try to create a blockade, but the Dragoons moving straight into the main. Probes pulling from the main to try to attack these Dragoons. Mousy fighting to the last probe. But they are getting wiped out one by one. And there is GG. Good effort from Mousy, but uh, Gosefer for handling it well. There's a moment there where I feel like if that last cannon completed, potentially, with the Zealot micro, maybe. Maybe could have had a different scenario, but Gosefer takes the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.